So, man, it's uh, it's been a lot of hate going on on the older generation, specifically Michael Jordan. I've seen Gilbert Arenas take shots. Ant-Man try to say the 80s didn't have athletic players. You know, Shaq's thrown shade at Will constantly. And so on and so on. It's just pure hating, man. And you see Magic Johnson respond to Ant-Man saying, I'm not talking to nobody who ain't ever won a championship. Let me just start out with this. And that's all. Oh, I've seen Rasheed Wallace said Michael Jordan didn't play no defense like that how you ain't play no defense and you won mvp and defensive player of the year at the same time somebody help me out with that and then to go even further with ant-man the man said i never watched 80s basketball but they ain't have no athletes so magic johnson went athletic so on and so forth isaiah thomas wasn't athletic kareem abdul jabbar wasn't athletic prior to that will chamberlain wasn't athletic in his prime you know, and I, I could I could go name Bob Cousy. I can go name for name for name. The problem is the problem is like when you think about Generation Z, and look at this young folks all all together. They don't they do no history. They do no history. They think basketball started in 2003 when LeBron got drafted. And this is the problem with this younger generation, man. They do nothing, nothing. When you can go, you can got get NBA league pass. Go on there, watch classic games. You can go on YouTube, watch classic games. You can see Will. You can see all these other people play, and just listen to what the writers were saying about Will Chamberlain, what the other athletes were saying about Will Chamberlain. Don't listen to what Shaq played. Shaq wasn't even Defensive Player of the Year. Why are you listening to him? You really think Shaq was better than Will Chamberlain? You know what I'm saying? This is the guy who I'm not. I'm not taking them from Shaq, but this was a guy who never lived up to his full potential. You know, so. And you need to go back and look at Larry Bird. You need to go back and look at Mag Michael Jordan. You need to go back and look at Magic Johnson, Isaiah Thomas, and so on and so forth. And even let me let me focus on Gilbert, man. Gilbert, stop listening to Gilbert. Man. I like Gilbert, man. Salute to him. But he he's doing what's kind of like what Skip Bayless did. You say stuff to get a reaction out of people, you know. But then his his fallback is, oh, you didn't play, you didn't play, you didn't play. I don't have to play to see what I see. Common sense will tell you that athletes were just athletic. Yeah, the style of game was different, but you can't sit here and tell me that Will Chamberlain wouldn't be the man. Michael Jordan must run an average 60 points a game, but they, they don't even play defense now. You don't, you don't think he could put up at least 50 a game? You don't think AI could put up 45, 50 a game? So, you, you know what I'm saying? You know, Gil, he just, he just want to get reaction. I even seen Dwight Howard had the nerve to say that Kobe is better than Michael Jordan. How? What are you talking about? He took his game from Mike. Mike was way more athletic. Man, this is is they really they're trying to erase history, man. And those who don't study history are failed to repeat it. But all you got to do is put in the tape. All you got to do is do a quick research. All you got to do is use chat GPT to get stats. It's not that difficult, man. It's not that difficult to find out that Wilt was most, one of the most dominant players of all time. But that's the problem with this younger generation. And, you know, people want to prop LeBron. Is LeBron a GOAT? Sure. Sure. But to put him over Mike and try to diminish what Mike's went through, get out of here. Have you ever heard kids growing up and saying, I want to be like LeBron? Have LeBron shoes ever? Have they ever had to remove LeBron's releases because kids were skipping school? When Jordan's dropped, kids were skipping school and coming back like, man, look what I got on. Jordan's was the was the pinnacle of shoes back then. Get out of here, man. And you don't think that? Like Mike, I can be like Mike. When had LeBron ever had a song like that? When have, Le when have anybody ever looked at LeBron and said, man, he's the next biggest thing next to Jesus? Not taking nothing away from him. But we want to talk about business-wise, sure. But come on, man. And it's just, it's sad, y'all. It's sad. It's sad that people are just running with this narrative. I see all these memes online about Mike. And I just, you can tell none of these people have, have ever watched the game. Mike legacy was so big that don't nobody even care about the Washington years. You knew he was, he was, it was over by the end. When Mike hit that shot against Utah and held his hand up and, and said, I'm scoring, this is my team, we won six rings, you'll never see nothing like that again. Did LeBron have an awesome dunk against Cleveland? Yeah, but who hit that shot? That was Kyrie that iced up Steph Curry. So we got to we gotta stop, man, stop. Just go back and watch the tape. Just watch the tape. Stop listening to Gil's Arena. I mean, if you want to listen for entertainment, fine. But don't just take what he said because, again, when you question him, he's going to say, oh, you didn't play the game, man. You didn't play the game. What that got to do with anything? 
Yeah, this man is sitting here and talking about boxing, and he ain't never put no gloves on. Talking about football, he ain't never put no, he ain't never been out there on the gridiron. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it, man. It's just, I'm, I'm tired, I'm tired of people hating on the older generation. And one more thing before I forget. Like KG said, man, these new players are soft. They soft. Michael Jordan played 82 games in his mid-30s. Now you got people out here, oh, my knee, I need rest, I need your eyes. Kawhi Leonard, he wouldn't last this long in the league. LeBron wouldn't have lasted that long back in the 90s. KD wouldn't have lasted that long back. Man, you would have got beat up. People were more men. Men were stronger back then. Even in Will Chamberlain, people was working regular jobs and playing in the NBA back in the day. Y'all feel me? Like, come on, man. So, no, this is a softer league. And you even, that's why overseas players are, are coming up there because they still play real basketball. You know, these, I'm just, I don't know, man. And, and why, why are they, and you wonder why I don't nobody watch the NBA like they used to. When we was coming up, I, I listened to Two Raw one time. When we was coming up, you knew every, all the starting five, all the ones on the bench, everybody was, was, was treated a certain kind of way. Most people now can't even name you a starting five. You know what I'm saying? If the, if the, uh, if I want to go to United Center and watch the Bulls play against a team, I know they started going to be playing. Now people want to do resting and and they don't want to do back-to-backs and all of that. Just whining, man. Just a bunch of whiny kids, man. With all this money and wealth. Even like with Zion. Yeah, great Zion was in shape. But why it take four or five years and $300 million to finally do it? You know what I'm saying? So, whatever, man. I just want to get my quick thoughts about this foolishness that has been going on. Tell me what y'all think, especially the younger people, man. Am I tripping? The older people, do y'all agree with me? Am I tripping? Let me know.